Newcastle Fans TV. What a game of football we've just seen at St James's Park. It's finished. Newcastle 3, Manchester City 3. Now, I don't think we had 3 3 in the predictions, Lee, but what a game of football we've just seen there. Jack Grealish, are you watching? Jack Grealish, where are you hiding? Because it was written on the cards for Miggy to score, but and he? he did. And Jack Grealish wasn't even the 18. And how many goals do you have, Jack Grealish? How many assists do you have? It's not very professional for other professional footballers to slag off other footballers. It's for the fans' opinion, not for a footballer. So message to Jack Grealish, fuck you. Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. Uh, okay, we'll move on. <laughs> Not I had to get that off my chest, I'm not, sorry, mate, because not, not, not on. Not the best start for Newcastle, though. Ilkay Gundogan. The only one thing I would say about Gundogan, he just finds himself in pockets and pockets of spaces. So many times we've seen over the years, and he just found it another pocket of space today, and Manchester City were one up, and it was it. He just seemed to find a gap between Cher and Trippier, didn't he? Uh, you came doing the scene as half-time. I couldn't tell who was fault, is it? I still don't know. Um, I haven't seen any of the, uh, the gold back or anything, but um, I, that looks a bit sloppy for me. I can't quite point the finger just yet because I haven't seen it back but you're thinking one nil doing after five minutes you think oh yeah it's going to be six or sevens yeah yeah that was probably the worst feeling you think oh it's one nil if we go two nil down after say 15 minutes you think no but what a retaliation from Newcastle what spirit from Newcastle now. I think that would be the big thing that we'll take from today and Alan St Maximum with a fantastic ball down that left hand side Miguel Miron I think it hits his cock if I'm honest <laughs> goes in the back of the net VAR his cock's bigger than Jack Grealish's well, VAR got involved after the linesman disallowed it and Newcastle managed to get the equaliser. They thoroughly deserved it. They played some fantastic football going forwards. Mm. And then, believe it or not, Lee, Newcastle went 2-1 up. Oh, um, what a goal that was. What a great Maxi, counter-attack Maxi goal. Maxi again, great ball. Callum Wilson, what a touch. Right foot, in the box, left foot. Great finish, Newcastle. 2-1 up with about five minutes to go at half time it's just a, you know, we're scoring worldies I know you're going to talk about the free kick in a minute we're just scoring worldies all season so but the thing is Alan said Maximum's getting criticised for his stuff that he was doing uh, yesterday at the Metro Centre which we were a part of as well um, there was some criticism in the, in the comments and now he's being all flash and all of that and look he's come and produced the goods today Alan said Maximum's right up there for me he's one of the better players today so he's produced the goods and it's a fantastic counter-attack and goal and Newcastle as you say thoroughly deserved it we were pinning them back I thought we rattled them I think yeah. that was probably the biggest thing I take we rattled them first half second half comes along well just before the second half Newcastle had a shot of a penalty on the edge of the box it's soft isn't it it's soft, but, soft but I tell you what that was, that was Harlem I'm sure that would have been looked at more thoroughly um, well, so if, it's, if it's 20 yards doing the pitch then oh, it's exactly. giving us a free kick isn't exactly. it second half Alan St Maximum runs down left hand side gets fouled 25 yards out that's Mr Kieran Tripp yeah that's a territory isn't it really Lee Lawler what a free kick that was 3-1 up you'll see that on the last word if you haven't seen it on yet on Sky yeah. what a free kick and the celebrations to match and to be honest the 3-1 I thought we were going to win it I did it's just like two, it's a two goal cushion and that's so early in the game which is probably the wrong time to score because that happens 10 to 15 minutes later you're going to win the game didn't you but um, it was absolutely hell of a free kick and Alan St Maximum again at the heart of it and he's, at, he's at, at, um, at the heart of a lot of goals today in fact all of them isn't he yeah. so a fantastic free kick we get expect that from Trippier yeah. great goal I wanted Newcastle to just kill the game not by making it 4-1 by taking the time just slowing the tempo down losing my heads a little bit we we're, 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 it was like an entertainer's game at Keegan's entertainers will attack you attack just sometimes you just need to sit back a little bit just sit back especially a 3-1 up and Man City got two quick goals and the first is from Erling Haaland, he's not going to miss from there after a header. And we kept him post. quiet up until that point. Yeah, he then had another chance straight after, one on one, good save from Nick Pope. I haven't got time in my match reaction to talk about Nick Pope, that'll be on the last word later on. Made some wonderful saves. And that was at 3 2, where Haaland just slams it in the, uh, in the roof of the net. And then what a ball by Kevin De Bruyne. If you take away the Newcastle fans, what a ball. Yeah, some player in needle. needle, like I have a needle pass, through to Bernardo Silva, 3 3, and you think, can we hold on now, Lee? Yeah, too, too quick fire. It's like it's squeaky bum time, as that uh, old saying. And to be honest, Manchester City fans were shocking as well until they scored. For the mountain fans that they brought here today, they were really, really quiet considering they sold out. So credit for selling out, but the the, the way support was really quiet, which, surpri which surprised me. Do you think we're going to hold on? Um, I'm going on a bit of a tantrum, and <laughs> getting everything off <laughs> the chest. Weird, last word, do that. Um, no, for this, this is the match reaction. No, just yeah. Look, I was a bit nervy. Um, the crowd needed something because we weren't going forwards. We were parking the bus. We're sorting of pressure, and it's probably the red card that wasn't a red card. It probably helps actually us out a little bit yeah. by slowing the game down. Yeah, Kieran Trippier, 
and was wrong, wrongfully sent, sent off. It's a foul, it's a yellow card, nothing more than that. Man City pressure, but Newcastle held on and Newcastle managed to get a 3 3 draw. A wonderful performance, a spirited performance. <sighs> Not very, I'm, I'm being negative again, but the, the, the student fans will agree with me on this. Because the referee was fucking shocking. Oh, the ref, that, that, big, that he, game he, was too big for him. He can fuck off to the A-League as far as I'm concerned because he's come over by the Premier League to be brought over to enhance the game. You've seen it with Mike Dean on VAR last week with the Chelsea Spurs game. He's been taken off this week. Now we've got an Australian in charge who can't even fucking referee. And they've seen so many chances. Yeah. You're not fit a referee. Yeah, not. I am actually happy today, people. I am, I'm just getting a few yeah. things off my chest, which has been bubbling for a while. Yeah, very happy. I am. Referee not good enough, but Newcastle certainly were. It's finished 3-3. Get your man of the match in the comments below. Like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV. And we'll see you all very soon. Newcastle Fans TV.